Okay, we have Victor with the Harbor Reef. How are you, Victor? Very good, thank you. Thank you. Well, uh, tomorrow we have the Minister of Transportation and Infrastructure here in Costa Rica coming to Nosara, and he's going to um, talk about the plans for the paving the main road here through town. So, want to get an opinion from the locals here, Ticos and, and Gringos alike, um, on the road. Now, Victor, would you like to see the road paved, yes or no, and, and, and why? I believe, and I truly consider that the road should be paved. And uh, not only, you know, to attract a little bit more tourism to the area, also for the health condition of the local people that lives on the side of the roads. Sure. I mean, you have four months of no rain, where these people is breathing dust 24 hours. You know, it's incredible. How many cars you can be standing on that road and see how many cars by minute drive by that road, and you'll be amazed at the cloud of of dust that stands or that if there is no wind, the, 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 the cloud will stay there. And um, so I think, you know, considering those factors, we have to give the people a better life, a better level of life. And if their children is living on those houses, would you imagine breathing that air, you know, when you're a baby, what it would do to your lungs and everything? So um, I really consider that it has to be taken but one of the main reasons that road needs to be paved. And uh, and also, just to have you know more people come in and visit a little bit of paradise, you know, we cannot be uh, selfish and just think that it's only for us. We have to give it also for the ones that want to come and visit. Sure. That's what we are, you know, Costa Rica is a big country, so let's give it the opportunity to people to enjoy this little piece of paradise. <laughs> Great point. Thank you so much, Victor. Thank I appreciate you, it. Thank you for coming. Thank you. All right, we got Josh from Refugio del Sol and El Phoenix restaurant over in Palada. How are, how's it going, man? Today's a great day like every day. People out there want to know what the locals' opinion is. Josh, would you like to see the road here, the main road in Osara, paved or not, and why? Absolutely what I wanted to, and the reasons for that is, one is the dust factor in the summer when it's dry. Also, that it's hard to get around when it starts raining, so it's just more to everybody's benefit to have it paved for one. Um, I can really see no reason not to pave the road. I think that uh, people come up with crazy reasons like progression or something like that. I don't think that that is going to propel Norsara into something similar to Tamarindo or anything or Hawk or something like that. Um, I think more or less it will just benefit everybody, not only visitors, but people that live here year, wrong, year long round. Awesome. Thanks, Josh. Appreciate it. I'm sure a lot of people share the same opinion. All right. Thank you. All right, we got Ryan with Kaya Soul. How are you, man? Doing fantastic. I most definitely want to see the road paved, and there's multiple reasons. Number one being the dust factor. You know, no multiple people getting sick from the dust. Sure. Tired of watching people in bikes just get covered in dust. Number two, I'd like to increase tourism here in Osara and get get an easier ride in, so more people are apt to come into town. You know, quit breaking our backs in our cars and getting hosed by dust. So basically, I'd love to see the road paved. Awesome. As long as everybody kind of keeps it mellow behind the wheel. <laughs> need I'm, a racetrack. I'm with you. We definitely have to get some speed limits posted if it happens, for, for sure. sure. Well, I really hope it does. Cool. Thanks, Ron. I appreciate My it. My pleasure, man. We've got Andrew here with Surfing Nosara. Andrew, what's your opinion? Do you want to see the roads paved or not? Uh, yeah, I mean, I'd like to see the roads get paved here, ultimately. They've been talking about it for a long time. I think for the majority of the reasons, it'd be really good. Uh, the only thing that concerns me that I would want to make sure got addressed was the fact that a lot of people here already drive without a whole lot of concern for safety. And uh, so I'd like to see uh, maybe some reasonable speed bumps put in, maybe in different, different parts, and maybe some uh, caution, cautionary signs at blind turns and things like that, because I would hate to see accident rates go up. Uh, but other than that, I think it's a good thing, and I think it should happen hopefully soon. Uh, be better for everybody, but as long as everybody's safe, that's the, my main concern. So, yeah. Good point. Thanks, Andrew. Okay, we have Jesse with Buddha Massage. Hola, Jesse, como esta? Hola. <laughs> Pura vida. Uh, Pura vida. As a local that's been here for many years, Jesse, how do you feel about paving the, the road here in Osara? 
Do, are you for it or against it, and why? Uh, okay, we've been waiting for that for so long. Like, I don't know, 15 years. <laughs> the people are saying they're going to pay the road. Uh -huh. So I think it's good, you know, because all the dust, there's less dust. Um, it's good for, for the people, they drive around on the road, like going for work. Mm -hmm. And it's good for the health, you know, for the lungs, they don't breathe the dust. And I think it's good for all the, the tourists that they come to visit, you know. So, and on the other hand, it's bad because it's going to be, I think, more accidents, you know, like we have already. So people have to be, like, really careful driving around. So that's my opinion. <laughs> okay, muchísimas gracias, Jesse. All right, we got Robbie here with the new Guiones Mini Market. How's it going, Robbie? It's going good, Ryan. Are, uh, are you for it? Are you against it? And, and what are your reasons? Well, if you were to ask me that question three years ago, I'd say I would certainly have been against it. But now living down here on a full-time basis, I would definitely try and promote it being done as soon as possible just because of the cost of money it as far as car maintenance and the dust factor is pretty difficult to deal with and in your house, in your business, everywhere. Sure. Would it affect the wildlife that's down here? I'm not sure because that's our whole goal down here is to try and preserve it as much as possible without having it built up. But I don't think a paved road would really make much of a difference as far as that goes. Um, so yeah, I, I would definitely be for it, for sure. It would make life a lot more comfortable on an everyday basis that you have to drive on the road every day. That's true, and those those mechanic bills would definitely go down, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and plus if you wanted to go for a walk, if you wanted to ride your bike, it would make life a lot easier and you wouldn't have to wear dust masks and all kinds of stuff. Exactly. Awesome. Yeah. Well, thanks so much, Robbie, for your opinion. No worries, man. Appreciate it. Great. Thanks, Ryan. Okay, aquí tenemos Chandi de Il Basilico Restaurante. ¿Cómo está, Chandi? Pura vida, ¿eh? Pura vida. Okay, ¿Usted qué piensa el pavimento de los calles de Nosara? Ya, este, sería un sueño que pavimentar a Nosara es un sueño de hace muchos años. Yo tengo de vivir aquí toda la vida, como treinta y pico de años, y yo escucho esto, que van a pavimentar, que van a pavimentar, y que nunca pavimentan. Y este, yo tengo, ahora que yo tengo el restaurante, eh, me doy cuenta de que más necesario, sí. se vive cerca de la calle y hay mucho polvo, los niños que van para la escuela van ahí tragando polvo y ojalá pavimente porque eso es un sueño y, y de todo nos hará y, y este, ojalá se haga realidad pronto, ¿verdad? Yo escucho hace dos años con mucha fuerza que ya viene, ya viene, ya viene y no llega, no lo veo y, sí. y es el mejor sueño de nos hará, sí. las calles pavimentadas y no comer más polvo. Ok. Quiere, quiere pavimento. Vaya. Porfa. De Nostara. Gracias, Chani, muchísimas. Por la vida, Por la vida. Ay, estaba genial. Bueno.